Hello, Faith Finders, and welcome to Creative Wednesday. My name is Pastor Betsy from Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Roseville, Minnesota. Today we're coming to the end of August and our very last Creative Wednesday. I want to share with you a verse that is very important to me. It's from Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. Then God said, let us create humankind in our image according to our likeness. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. You are probably getting ready to go back to school or maybe your school has even started. You might be doing distance learning or a hybrid format. So part of the time you will be at home for your learning. Because we're talking about being created in God's image and how each of us reflects who God is, like looking in the mirror, we are seeing part of who God is. And yet each of us is unique. And one of the things that's unique about us is our name. So today we are going to make names and you might want to put this up someplace at home in your bedroom or in the area where you're going to do your schoolwork. I have my Pastor Betsy up over the windows in my dining room that I have been using as my home office. I would like to show you how to make these kinds of letters. For our project today, what you're going to want are some paint canvas. I have some square six by six canvases. You can use any size or if you don't have these canvases, you could cut up a cardboard box and use that corrugated cardboard. It would work in a similar way. You'll want newspaper because we'll be painting and paper towel to clean up your mess. Then you'll need paint and I like to use recyclables as a paint tray and a paintbrush. But first we need masking tape and scissors. What we're going to do is make a letter out of our masking tape. I'm gonna make the letter T, which is in the middle of Betsy. What you're going to do is cut pieces of masking tape to make your letter. Here's the top of the T, and then I cut a second piece to make the vertical part like this. The next step is to paint the canvas. And so I'll put a little bit of red paint in my tray and then paint all over, just like so. You can also mix paint colors. Putting white with red would make pink, for example. Putting red with yellow would make orange. And you can make all the different colors on a color wheel. It's fun to work with mixing paint colors. When you're done painting, it will look like this. You can barely see the tape and the letter. Our next step is to take some time and let it dry. Waiting for it to dry is the hard part. But now that it's dry, we have the fun part. Even my cat Milo wants to help out. What we're going to do is take off the masking tape and see what's underneath. We have a letter T. And you can do this with all the letters in your name. Letters like B for Betsy that are round, you need to use lots, lots of shorter pieces of tape to make that letter. Because and I really like polka dots. I'm going to put polka dots on it. So I have some white paint and instead of using the brush end, I use the other end like this. And then you make dots as many as you want all over your palette. And when you're finished, it looks like this. You might even want to make some of these 
for your friends or family members. For example, here's one that I made for Alex. Faith Finders, thank you so much. You've been a great audience all summer and it's been so much fun to work with you. Let's close with a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for creating us and giving us creative abilities. Thank you for sharing with us the work of ongoing creation in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Faith Finders, and be sure to tune in tomorrow for Thursday Treats with Lindsay.